Galileo Galilei once said, You cannot teach a man anything. You can only help him discover it in himself. Our stories are just like those of the stars. If you are to look at them, they seem like tiny specks of dust roaming around or seen around the entirety of the universe. However, it takes more than a naked eye to see them clearly, to see what builds and what destroys them, to see what makes them differ from anything or anyone else. Similarly, we live in a world filled with many people, people who share the same amount of similarities just as much as we exhibit our own differences. Now, here is where we meet Tim. Tim is an extraordinary and inquisitive young man. He is really clever when it comes to solving puzzles, but there is one thing that he himself is still quite puzzled about, and that is himself. The bigger story of the reason and logic behind of why he has neurofibromatosis, also known as NF1. These are the parents of Tim who are trying to comprehend their son's case 17 years ago. Wait, so doc, is this all normal? We are not quite sure yet, but your son is showing early symptoms of neurofibromatosis. What is NF1? It's when the DNA replication has a sudden change, so the mRNA and the protein sequencing change as well. Is this something serious, though? It's still too early to say for sure. However, given your medical history, uh, the possibilities of your son having neurofibromatosis 1 are very high. Is there a cure for NF1? As of right now, there is still no cure. However, there are alternate ways to treat the symptoms. <laughs> This is Tim, aka Baby Wednesday, and ironically, Baby Wednesday hates Wednesday. She walked away through a cheap pack of cigarettes, hard liquor mixed with a bit of intellect, and all the boys they were saying they were into it. Such a pretty face on a pretty neck is driving me crazy, but I'm into it. But I'm into it. I'm kinda into it. This is Kyle, his Tim's friend. Duh. This is Dr. Dre. Familiar? Hi, Tim. Hi, Can I help you with it? I have these weird bumps all over my body and it spreads in my chest. It has lots of blood and it makes me feel nervous. This looks like neurofibromatosis one. You have that neurofibromatosis one. Did you have freckles what in your underarms since you were a child? Mm -hmm. Your parents you may have been told about the possibility that you would have oh, neurofibromatosis no one says it up like you. But maybe they never came back oh, for a you can rip it up. Oh, no one rips it up like you well, it's in a condition your in which tumors grow along like the nerves and the skin, the brain, and other organs. These benign tumors I called neurofibromas are nerve tissue tumors. They affect both your you nervous and your integument system, which is your brain, your spine, and your skin. 
I get it that my skin is affected, but my brain and spine. Ah. You may not have noticed it, but you have learning disabilities, then that is an effect of neurofibromatosis. Sometimes I join you can have skeletal problems like scoliosis, osteoporosis, macrocephaly, etc. etc. Et et okay, now I'm scared. Your tumors are benign, like I said, but it can turn malignant and lead to cancer. Your tumors will also progress. Oh, you can rip it off. Oh, I can rip it oh, this is all too much for me to handle. I I know it oh, can get any worse, but there's something right. I'm sorry, Tim, but as of now, there's still... I can't possibly have it on my face too. The jacket I can bear, even though it's hot. But I think if we start right now, there must be some like that, and you know. I'm sorry, Tim, but the only thing available right now are treatments for the symptoms. But it will not suppress the tumors. Sorry. Incurable diseases are not the end of the world. But for people who are experiencing it, it just feels like one. Hey, it's okay. Hey, it's okay. Hey, it's okay. Hey, it's Tim tries to stay brave even though deep inside he feels nothing but despair and hopelessness. Now he hates looking at the mirror more than he hates Wednesday. Sir, spare change. Do you have any spare change or food with you, sir? Oh, here you go. My mom packed me a lot of foods with carbohydrates and proteins. It's just that I'm not eating today, so here you go. It's not much. Thank you, sir. You're such a genius young man. By the way, how are you feeling? How can you manage to live every day like that? I appreciate everything around me and I know that I still have two legs in one hand and that's enough for me to be happy with my life. You're such an optimistic person. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. You made me realize important things today. Take care. I just realized that it is not worth the one to let her perfection service always. 